Welcome to the Nutanix Cloud Together video series. I'm Wyatt Cash with Scoop News Group, and we're here with Nick Pilla, Senior Director for Civilian Sales at Nutanix. Nick, thank you so much for joining us. And I'd like to start by asking where, from your perspective, are you seeing federal agencies making significant headway in capitalizing on their digital transformation and modernization efforts? Sure. Thanks, Wyatt. I appreciate you having me and I appreciate the, the questions. So where we're seeing agencies in particular making headway, it's, it's, it's really around these, these digital transformation and modernization initiatives and projects that are just driving a whole host uh, of, of initiatives. And agencies are sort of in different different places as far as their particular journeys, but we're certainly seeing heavy investments around things such as, as cloud, public cloud, uh, multi-hybrid cloud investments, really things specifically to address the cost and complexity of legacy systems, as well as legacy applications and, and the development of, of those applications. So it's, it's a great time to be in the industry um, customers in particular are looking to, to, to really enhance sort of their speed and agility as far as just getting their services and applications to market, as well as improving kind of the end user experience as far as some of the constituents or, or, or their end customers, if you will. And then, of course, uh, we're seeing heavy investment with respect to, to security initiatives, but both as it relates to the underlying infrastructures that are supporting those services and those applications, um, but but also a significant investment around things such as, as zero trust architecture and, and just the ability to to improve the 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 overall security posture of these organizations. Uh, Nick, you mentioned a minute ago about some of the challenges agencies are facing. What are you seeing as the biggest challenges that uh, agencies are still encountering uh, when it comes to digital transformation? Well, I think there's several. I think that there's certainly the, the technology and the skill gap challenges. And we've seen that in years past, even before customers started to really move towards this, this, this cloud journey. But now that customers are embracing and are adopting cloud, I think what customers are finding is that maybe public cloud isn't always well-suited for all applications and workloads and use cases. Uh, we, we also see organizations struggling with just the skill challenge, e even though that you may modernize underlying infrastructure or applications, move them to a particular large-scale public cloud service provider, typically that then becomes a, a, a unique skill set that may not necessarily translate to the other cloud service providers. So now customers, as opposed to having seen sort of the, the silos and the stovepipe challenges, maybe in a traditional data center from years past, they're now experiencing that same type of challenge in the public cloud. Some of the other issues that we're starting to see is, is expectations and or just runaway cloud costs for maybe workloads that aren't well suited, in addition to maybe just the adoption, right, where, where there's a heavy set of workloads that have been developed over the past several years within, within agencies in particular that either have to go through an entire refactoring, re-engineering, or replatforming sort of process to actually even be migrated to public cloud. So there's there's a lot of particular challenges across the board, and and some of the other issues that that we see are that some agencies may actually have certain standards or technology uh, standards in place that that maybe prevent them or don't provide them sort of the flexibility to really look at some of the newer or more innovative technologies because of the technical debt that they may have with respect to some of their existing investments. 
Well, and speaking of that, what types of solutions should agencies at least take a closer look at in their digital transformation and modernization efforts? Sure. I, I think I think customers should continue to, to, to look at and evaluate at how they can, can innovate and how they can become more sort of private industry-like with respect to driving down just that level of technical debt, driving down that, that cost and complexity and making them more competitive with respect to maybe some of the commercial service pr providers do today. And, and some of those technologies that exist, um, there's, there's several of them out there, but, but in terms of just solving some of those problems, some of those challenges, it, it would be great to see customers embrace sort of the idea of, of adopting those technologies that give them greater flexibility, greater choice, um, that are really more software defined and API driven versus being tied to kind of these proprietary hardware-based systems. Well, those are some uh, great points and observations. Well, uh, Nick Pilla, thank you so much for joining us today um, and sharing some of your insights on what you're seeing across the federal government in the ways of opportunities and, uh, and potential solutions for um, uh, digital transformation and modernization. Thank you, Wyatt, appreciate you having me.